Welcome to our drone fishing holiday with the Phantom Standard 3 at beautiful Mariah Nui nestled in the uh, hills and by the sea on East Cape, New Zealand. The camp is right below us now and the main house and massive Pahutikawa tree is there. The camp owners Bev and Ted are the most welcoming people you can possibly imagine for a holiday at Christmas in New Zealand. trusty caravan or compass rambler below us, I think it's time now that we go fishing. And here we are going out to sea, we've cut a lot of this out because I'm sure you don't want to watch the waves flashing underneath you for a long period of time. I do drive out pretty slowly and not at a great height either. I can't see the point in taking my line all the way up to have it wound back in, so let's keep it nice and low. Down we go and you will see the sinkers and lines just drop into the water about now. And there we go, that's all there is to it. About 20 minutes later, of course, uh, we did catch this lovely looking snapper, which uh, was very nice to eat, I can assure you, uh, especially for a Christmas Eve day. This is the Phantom 3 setup that I'm operating, and of course that's the unlucky snapper that we caught. Lovely fish here on the East Cape for sure, so shall we do it again? Why not? Up we go, and out we go. Due to the stony nature of the beach, we catch the drone in our hands, uh, well, in my hands, and uh, saves breaking propellers, which I've already done this year. Another snapper brought in, another beautiful specimen, and that's it, all trimmed up nice and uh, ready for the pan. We also caught quite a few other species of fish and lots of these little sharks and the not so little sharks as well. Uh, very easy to pull in and push out again. This next uh, clip is after taking the line out on the drone which was a little bit hairy because there was now a decent wind blowing up. Uh, we uh, managed to catch something rather heavy and this is just a small video of 
the fun it was bringing it in. As it turns out, it was, yes, another one of those uh, dreaded sharks. I tried to pull it in uh, by just straightening the line and pulling it up the beach and lo and behold, look what happens to the hook. It just pops out. Well, in actual fact, it didn't pop out. The hook broke just at the curve. There he is. He's asking me if I would uh, pop him back in the water. And so we turned him around the right way and uh, gently coaxed him back to where he came from. Or she, not sure. While we were in the area we did some motoring around and as you can see the roads here are quite narrow and this was a very hot day, 33 degrees and wet tar on the road. Thanks for watching, if you did enjoy it please hit the like button, give me some encouragement if nothing else. Bye for now.